<laughs> Corgi, squirrel, ice cream. Work with me here, people. Well, happy Monday, everybody. Hope your weekend was good. Ours was pretty good, actually. Nikki actually had a Saturday off for once. It's been a while. I think she just had a Saturday off. So we just out and about the whole day, pretty much. Just uh, going to different flea markets, antique shops. Didn't really get anything. I was just looking for one thing in particular and could not find it. I was trying to see if I could find a uh, tripod cheap at like Goodwill or Salvation Army and couldn't find anything. I mean, I'll buy a new one if I have to, but I thought maybe if I get lucky and find one at a cheap price, I'd grab it. But I did find a couple of desks that will work perfect in the office. Just got hope they're still there. I had no way to get them home. They're huge, heavy desks. And I needed a truck and have a truck. Plus, it was raining on Saturday. And it was also raining a little bit yesterday here and there. So I had no way to get them home without getting them soaking wet. So I'm hoping they're still there today. And then Josh and I are going to go grab them. And we're going to store them at his restaurant for now until I can get the office set up for them. Sundays are becoming more and more increasingly hard to get footage on because nothing hardly ever goes on on Sundays. Everyone usually stays home and relaxes on Sundays. So trying to get anything filmed is near impossible. Nikki works pretty much every Sunday. So there's not much we can do together. She works all day. And I usually spend Sundays on the computer or just lounging around the house doing nothing. Call them lazy Sundays for nothing. So if you have any ideas for what you'd like to see us do on a Sunday, um, so to regular just you know type vlog, uh, let me know in the comments because I'm drawing blanks right now. Of course, it's also early on a Monday. That could be why I'm coming up with no ideas right now too. Well, my day was almost over until the phone rang at 4:55 p.m. and now I have to head to one of our clients in Ankeny and reset a router and then I'm done for the day. But hey, I got gas money and a little bit of overtime. I also found out that we have to go back up to the Mayo Clinic on Thursday. Uh, Nikki's mom's results came in and they need her to come back up there. They're thinking it might be something wrong with the liver. Hopefully there's nothing major, but you never know. It just seems like lately a lot of bad things are happening with Nikki's family. Uh, one of her uncles, her cousins, I think it is actually, one of her cousins, is in the hospital with Lyme disease, um, pretty much going blind. And then she found out that one of her, I think her aunt, one of her aunts is, or aunts, or however you say it, um, is just really sick the details on that and another one is having some uh, issues I think she might have throat cancer I think one of her uncles or another cousin is in the hospital with some form of cancer and her sister just got uh, thinking it's uh, um, vasculitis I think it is I may be way off on that but she started getting some spots on her legs and they turned into really bad sores and it's just gotten worse and worse. So now they're treating her for, I think it's vasculitis. I think it is. It sounds like a made up word, but it's just one thing after the other. And then her mom, the stuff her mom's dealing with. So yeah, definitely keep Nikki's family in your thoughts, guys and girls. And as of today, which is May the 6th, we still are not going to Blogger Fair have not found anyone that can sponsor us have not heard anything from my original sponsor i've got feelers out there i just don't know how well those feelers are going to respond back as far as sponsoring and it's getting to be like 30 days from the day that we were going to fly out which was june 6. so i have 30 days less than 30 days to find someone that can sponsor us to go and book a ticket and get a hotel in hopes that everything's booked. And the longer I wait, the more expensive the airplane tickets come. So I'm not holding my breath anymore. I've 
pretty much given up the thought of going. Definitely was going to be a much needed vacation for us to get away from everything. But obviously, it wasn't meant to be. Scraping the crossing out my cup. Our little gray linen. Well, we're at Palmer's. We usually come here like once a week. They haven't been here in a couple weeks. Did you gnaw on the. Did you chew on the styrofoam too? No, that's. Oh. <laughs> From here? It looks like it was all chewed up. But yeah, we just grabbed him some dinner. Didn't have time to go to the grocery store today, so we thought we'd come here and grab a bite. We haven't been here in a couple of weeks, so I was trying to think. Last time we came here is when we saw Ed Wilson. It's been a couple of weeks. We got me the club. I think the lady kind of overstacked my meat because I saw her just laying the meat on there, and it was it seemed like it was a little more than it was supposed to be. But uh, yeah, I got the uh, the club. And Nikki got some healthy like apple orchard thing. Does that have like apple butter on it? The apple butter and cheese and apples. All kinds of goodies. And she had a little Waldorf salad. Waldorf. That's a funny name. Waldorf. Waldorf. But yeah, just gonna grab a bite, go back home so they can keep working on her homework. I've gotta try to figure out how to get a desk that's not meant to fit in a small space to fit into a small space. I don't think I've ever had a single bad meal here. I will, I'll take that back. I guess if you want to call it a bad meal, I had some really crappy lettuce one time in my Caesar salad. It was all the stem pieces. That's all it was was the crunchy stem parts and nothing else. So I guess that was kind of crappy, but... There you go. You could be a Rochester Armed Car Company person. No. I'll pass, but thank you. I don't feel like moving to Minnesota. It's cold enough here. We move somewhere, it's going to be south. Deep south. I don't know about deep south, but... I'll move south, but I would not move deep south. Oh, I gotta take a sh. Harold, edit you. that part out. Say he's bend over, let Rover take over. Or was someone bending over? Yes. Oh, it's my wife for you. Sweet and innocent until you get her out in public and then she becomes dirty minded. That's why I married her. Oh, one of the reasons I married her. Of course. S speaking of. See? Sorry. <laughs> Do you have like Tourette's or something? <laughs> Corgi! Squirrel! Ice cream! You're like that dog on up. Squirrel! Yeah, that's the uh, Snooky's Malt Shop. You can bring your dog there. They give you little cones for your doggies. Little doggy cones. Gemma will enjoy it. Beckley wouldn't enjoy it so much. He's kind of a faz. Yeah, Beckley's got some mental issues. Speaking of why I married her though, tomorrow will be our two year wedding anniversary. Yay! Yay! I want to go Hawaii! Well, honey, unfortunately, my private jet's in the shop, and I don't think it'll be done before tomorrow. Sorry. That guy's carrying a poop bag. That's what you're supposed to do when you take your dog out in public. I'm like a lot of people, they just let him sh poop everywhere. Poop everywhere. I thought I'd better get on here and record a, an ending for you guys, because I uh, haven't done it a couple times lately. The last time is when we went to Minnesota to the Mayo Clinic, and that was because I came home turned the car off, handed the keys to Nikki after we got inside, and I went to bed. And I didn't wake up until the next morning. Because I had drove all the way home on no sleep, well, 45 minutes of sleep, and I just couldn't, I couldn't function anymore. But anyways, I want to get on here and tell you guys, uh, good night. I'm going to hit the bed. So as always, thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing. We really do appreciate it. Have a good night. We'll see you guys tomorrow.